Hello everybody. Here is a Nano version 3 running the FazaSat simulator code. This is an RFM9X from Adafruit. This is a LoRa module with the correct radio chip that works with the simulator code. And this down here is an OLED display that eventually we'll use as a graphical user interface for the simulator. Right now it's just hooked up to I2C. The module here is a SPI interface. So we have that hooked up to the hardware SPI on the Arduino Nano. We also have the two GPIOs hooked up um, on the module. It's uh, GPIO 1 and 2 hooked up to pins 2 and 3 on the Arduino. We're just following along the simulator code defaults. Uh, and so we ran the code and we are seeing stuff. The blue signal that you see is clock, that is slave clock on the module, uh, the radio module. The yellow is MOSI from SPI. And this is a, a transmission we assume that we're seeing that happens every now and then, goes on for a while. Um, but the general sort of pattern seems to match what the code is doing. Unfortunately, we do not hear anything being transmitted over the air, and that's what we're trying to work on now. Here we have the clock on the bottom in blue and the chip select in yellow on the top. Okay, so here is the pattern that we see uh, showing up. SPI appears to be working. About every 10 or 11 seconds, we have a longer series of data, um, but every second we see what you are seeing on the screen. Okay, another pin of interest is going to be reset. So here's clock on the bottom and reset is high on the top. Here on the bottom is clock, and on the top in yellow is digital I.O. one, and nothing much happening there. So either we have it hooked up to the wrong pin, don't understand the pin out in the code, or something else is going on with the RFM 9X. Okay, so how do we know that something is not working right? Well, we know what frequency we should be on, and that's what we're tuned to here. 436.7 megahertz and we have this set up we think we have it hooked up correctly we're seeing signals um yeah we're still looking at the gpio here uh but let's or nothing actually so let's look at mosi we'll plug that in well okay so seems like we should be hearing something over the air especially this close now we know that this module works the reason that we know that this module works is because we've used it on two other implementations, on two other stations. And we know that it's on the right frequency. We know that we can use CircuitPython to make it, make it happen. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of stumped here. If there's something up with this particular module, if it's um, not working right, or if there's something in Radiolive that isn't set right, that's, that's where we're at today. So lots of progress, getting things done. Um, here, we'll show you how it works with uh, some of the other stations. All right, so here's a LoRa station uh, set up for receive and transmit on the, uh, the correct frequency. And here's our HT that's monitoring it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the script and then I'm gonna restart it and you're gonna hear a brief a uh, single message being transmitted, uh, you'll hear it monitored on the HD. Okay, and I'll do it again. Okay, so you can hear something go chirp. Uh, so now I'm going to prove to you that we can receive a transmitted uh, packet. Okay, so here we are. We have our same station that transmits once and then listens. Uh, and yes, it's it's listening. Okay, so now we have an, another station. This is an Itsy Bitsy, and I'm gonna plug it in. It's running the same script. The uh, CircuitPython script running here and running here are the same. When you 
start up, it transmits once. It's a hello world and then listens. Uh, so I will plug it in. It's going to start up. Okay, I'm going to plug it in and it's going to start up and then it will listen. Okay, that was the transmission. And there it is. You can see it. Uh, transmission from the Itsy Bitsy. So we know that these modules work. We know that they work with uh, embedded processors. We know they work with CircuitPython. That's what we kind of wanted to get going. The circuit over here that is running on Arduino, that's the reference design from Fazasat. That's the simulator. That's what we cannot get working quite yet. So we're looking for a little bit of help here. What are we missing? Uh, is it something in Radiolib? Is it some sort of thing that we're not doing in the Arduino script? Does anybody else have this working with the RFM 9X? Uh, lots of progress, but kind of not working yet.